Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks yet again. We look at some of our lovely models of tanks. Don't they just look right lovely? We sell tanks to Spain for the first time. The Turks murder thousands of Greeks using our tanks. We design a new hornet hull which is rather moist. Would you look at that? Mm. The French murder thousands of Belgians. We hire a new man who is rather questionable. We make a new whippet tank which is right lovely. Would you look at that? Mm. We improve everybody's favourite tank by a marginal amount. The French get weak at the knees over my large girthy tank. And we make this one even better. Stay tuned! You must love gaming because you are watching this video, so why not save yourself some money and get on instant gaming? They have everything you could possibly want. The new stuff, the pre-order stuff and the classics. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't get on here. There's a link down below in the description. You can thank me later. Arms Trade Tanks Tycoon! Again. I have a lovely cup of tea and you should as well. So where do we leave off then? What were we working on? Well, we had the Medium Hornet Mark III. We're giving this an update because the British look like they want to do an exploration tank. And that is generally around 20 tons worth, which is about right for a Hornet. So I'm going to give that an update. So far, they've only wanted girthy tanks. It might be the time that they want something a little bit smaller. Selling lots of tanks to the French. They like their little tanks so far. I've not seen anything in regards to them wanting a wire crusher tank or a nest buster tank. Can't do that yet anyway. We don't have the chassis or anything. Wire crusher tank. I'd love to get my hands on that. But we just have to wait. We've sold tanks to... Where was it? think and selling them to Spain which is going to be interesting the Turks like them as well they like the little doodown ones so the German tank that we've acquired Germany still doesn't have any tanks but they're looking at a a7v so we'll just have to see how that goes and progresses war wise Ethiopia has been murdered again by Britain typical and then we have Belgium and Portugal fighting it out. Belgium is about to lose all territories on Europe's mainland. So that's going to be fun. And our tanks, which we sold to France, are going to be now be murdering the Belgians. I haven't seen these in combat yet against infantry or anything else for that matter. So we'll just have to see how they do. And it's also interesting to see... The French have the Armoured Car Regiment, so I'd like to know how they deal with stuff. I don't know what their stats are, how good they are, to be honest. Last episode, I did manage to get some of these little tanks out of the way, which was right good. We got this, which is the French one, but with the German turret and the British squirrely tracks. I like this one. And then we have this, which is more of a standard French one. But with the British tracks on there, well, British goodie tracks on there anyway. Then we have this one, which is the German version, but with the French turret. This is actually quite good. And it also has the squirrely tracks on there as well. And there's that one. Oh, that's just a normal one. There was another one as well, wasn't there? Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. I'm not too sure now. But now, let's see what other wacky designs we can do. This is the latest Hornet one. This is the one I'm going to be updating. We'll see how we get on. So from this, it does look like we've got some weight to play with. So I'll probably stick on the blurry what's it? You know, you know what I'm about. The tracks, them. I think they just look a lot better than what these ones do, to be honest. And I think on the testing proving grounds as well, they actually work a lot better. I don't know why, but they just do contracts that we currently have ooh to review right so we've not actually put a thing in for these yet or have we have we yeah we have oh lovely 
Not gonna lie, it might look like I may have forgotten to send out the contracts. <laughs> oh no! 26th of the 5th. And these both want them at around the same time. What was I thinking? Have I ballsed up again? Oh no, it might be a lemon moment here. Not very good, is it? Well, let's just see what we can do, shall we? Oh no, no, I'm talking rubbish now. The application has been submitted and it's awaiting review. Right. No, oh, roll good. We're not going to lose millions. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, the main tanks I'm making at the moment is the Mark V, Mark II. I'll show you that in a minute. Here it is. Massive thing. Everybody seems to like this one. This does the Vanguard and the other one quite well because it's got machine guns on there and a turret with this combination turret there that's not bad at all so it fits many things as that quite heavy the british like this thing and hopefully the spanish are going to be getting a few of them as well i think it was a couple of these ones that we have in storage only 10 of them i don't think it's these ones it could be but it i think it's these somebody's going to want them at some point i might even scrap them but the other one everybody seems to like is this which is abysmal <laughs> oh, they like the little tankettes. I might even see now that I've managed to get a couple of the other little ones working to my degree. They might even like the French one. I couldn't get this going before, but with a few tweaks, I've managed to fix it. So it actually fits with the weights and everything else. So we'll just have to see. One thing I did is I built a breakthrough bureau in the research department. Somebody told me it might be 5% every day of completely clearing out the research. So we'll see. It's only really just been built. So hopefully it might do something right lovely. Because 8 to 5 days and that's nearly 3 quarters of the way done. That's a long time to wait. But if there's a chance of skipping one or two of them, that will be absolutely right lovely and moist so we'll see how we get on firepower i've not really tickled many of them but we're all right for now I'm more interested in this liberty tank get that rolling that'll be great i'll have to do the central cab for that to complete the thing really a better en engine would be lovely better fuel that's all good firepower might have to start going down that route armor piercing munitions for the machine gun would be lovely some tanks don't even have a proper cannon on them so yeah yeah we'll see we'll see i want the structural stuff more out of the way I'm not too bothered about the female mark ii I'm not too bothered about that the german one does a pretty good job and the british bolt assembly that one that's pretty good as well to be fair right the repairability and everything else on that is good which is what the generally the governments want and it, oh, it is quite good on there as well to be fair crew safety is two it's five on this volume limit is one it's two on that so it takes up more space it would be nice to see the other stats of it to be completely honest but i can't see that from here but i'm not willing to spend so much on a few rivets <laughs> so no we'll uh, probably skip that and go straight towards the running gear this one the land ship that is what probably should be on a land a uh, liberty one anyway a new engine would also be right lovely new transmission and everything else i want to be the best we'll have to get the best and then we'll start looking at all of that supplies are getting a little low we're getting more in so that's not too bad we are also producing lots of the little german tank as well everybody seems to love that thing so getting a load of them in is crucial now we shall progress time make sure you have your tea ready as things get funky a new armored train oh new army corps introduced armored train right Ooh, okay we've got tracks for something ready what was it doing there no oh, no it's the hole for this thing right I see i see so this is improved from the previous because it has the better steel so it's a sturdier vehicle now i do want tracks for this thing to be right lovely as well we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of that we don't need that tracks i want the other ones on so the tracks here we go we'll make a new one the 
idler i don't like the, that one i think it's the was it gone the mark three i seem to like more it's cheaper and it gives better stats i think to be completely honest the german and french stuff there meh it's not as good track inserts i want these ones on i like these ones i like the look of them they look funky they are better a little more weightier but we've got the weight to spare so we might as well mud shoots we can potentially stick on a german one but they're not as good and we've got weight to play with now we might as well stick the better ones on then get the reliability and repairability of the tracks would be rather good cross country speed yes that is very important now this is where a lot of weight can be saved in the springs these ones here now the spring sprung rollers mark two the british one it's two tons it's too much so i'd usually go for the german ones they're not as good off-road where's the stats for that oh um, no maybe it's just normal roads oh no there it is cross country speed is a lot better but it's half the weight man on the german one the goal for that extra ton makes a huge difference and the sprocket i think the german one was the best or relatively anyway it'll be all right <laughs> but we'll go for that so this is all working towards a better hornet tank Ooh, more money is going to be coming in so the ottomans are after a lot of tanks they're like the tankettes so the little german one which i'm currently producing and the spanish want the big fat juicy tanks so let's get them on a roll now we haven't built the little german one yet we've currently got six in six in stock i think it's about 20 days before the rest of them are done so we can send the spanish some of these ones then we've got they, they want eight on the contract we can shift a load of them we've got plenty of time to do it really but i'll stick it with them anyway i like using these it's, it's best of both worlds really it's quite cheap still and oh hang on capacity they've been improved i don't remember it being that high before okay there's not much difference between them at all now then really well i'll go for that one it's cheaper there we go that's better there's only one day difference even if it's delayed and i'll save myself two thousand pounds that's definitely cup of tea worthy so they're gonna go that is lovely i've got quite a few of them in stock 42 left even though i've just sent eight of them the british were wanting large numbers the british army has now also got the armored train they need to produce it though that's the thing and a new war has begun between france and la roba okay no not la roba i'm looking at that liberia that's africa France has been on a bit of a war front for quite a while, not going to lie. Now, I do think this was... Yes, these are attacking, I think, because they're on that side. Yeah, these are defending. I'm sure of it. So, Liberia is attacking France, and France has now also stuck some tanks in there. So, they're going to have a hard time of it. But the Liberians... If, if, if that's said wrong, I do apologise. <laughs> Well, they've got a commander in there so that'll give him a bit of a boost but they're gonna be facing the tanks the infantry and the cavalry that cavalry has been hurt quite significantly from previous battles so we'll see what goes on there in general the liberians have four regiments i've not seen these at war before but they're all fresh so we'll just have to see they apparently like the german stuff in terms of tanks but We'll see how we go. They've apparently got lots of alliances. But that doesn't really do anything at this point. At some point, it is going to be... How would you put it? More depth in the politics side of things. According to the devs, I was having a chat with them just the other day. There has been a major update since I started doing this. I'm playing on the older version, so I don't lose my save. Because I can't be bothered doing it all again. They'll just be a repeat. But this is the French army's stuff. They've got plenty of troops, armoured car. I think these are the heavy artilleries. I wish there was a different setting um, picture for them. But 
they start with 20 because it's at the bottom of the list that generally tells me that it's a new one but some of their cavalry units you can see have been hammered they should be at full strength at 1500 like that one so they've all been slapped in the face quite a bit quite a few of their infantry are under strength significantly so they're not looking the best but against liberia they'll be fine now they've got tanks in action as well hopefully they'll start using more and more of them which will preserve their actual standing army and make me more money oh yeah the ottomans are murdering greece as well again using <laughs> my tanks of loveliness they're on the attack oh i don't think they saw this there's an outcome for this one nice okay oh dear the greeks got murdered so these tanks murdered around two and a half thousand greeks with zero losses that is quite significant because the only units they have left defending this territory are three thousand troops which are shaken battered and bloodied the Greeks have had lots of wars going on this entire time. And as you can see, their army is pretty decimated at this point. They're not going to stand much longer. They did great in the first few wars. This is about the fourth time Turkey has had a go at them. We'll have to see if Greece can survive. Even Bulgaria started having a go at them. That isn't great. Oh, here we go. British Empire and Ethiopia are murdering each other. They're kicking off. The tracks are completed on the Hornet. That is right lovely. Now, I don't think there's any upgrades I can do to the engines, to be completely honest. We can fit many different types of engine in this one, though, to be completely honest. It's quite nice. Pretty much all of them fit, which is right good. This is the old one. I'm not too bothered about that for now. But, uh, yeah, I think they're all up to date. All the machine guns have not really... I mean, we've got this one, which is a mix of German and British technology. The guns themselves, we've got the French cannon this time, which is quite nice. Well, that's up to date and everything. So is that. So really, we're a little bit stumped on what we can improve upon. So that must mean we should be ready to design a new Hornet tank. I am wondering as well, later on, once we've got the Liberty these technologies will come in handy as well alrighty so that's the original that's the updated version I did it's only slightly better to be honest but let's do it again so the medium hornet mark three this time the color of the hull is different because it's made out of a thicker better steel engine let's go for the one with the best stats now this Oh, with this, that's it. The attribute sum, so how good it is, is lower. But this is a lighter version. That's half a ton. Now, I think that is the most up-to-date version of an engine I've got. To be completely honest, all the rest just aren't quite as good. So, yes. I think we'll go for the lighter version first. And if it starts to get a little bit... Like, well, no, if we've got room to play, I might stick the heavier one in. But then the Hornet Mark III tracks. It's mean and nasty. I like it in this dark grey colour. It's quite funky, actually. But yes, we have the Machine Guns of Doom. That is right lovely. Making sure I'm not skipping one there. And the crew. Oh, mechanic. Oh, I forgot what needs that. The engine requires four crew. What is the other one? That's a good question. No, it's the same. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll stick with that. But yes, we need a commander. He sits somewhere else. We've got a driver. Commander sits in there. And really, it's just gunners and mechanics. So we should be completely fine. It will get a little bit crammed in there, though. I could probably get away with that. But I might just get another mechanic gunner. He does a bit of both, just to boost the stats. I mean, we're in the red on maximum crew, but everything is fulfilled. It does hamper crew performance a little bit. But 
we'll be fine i'm sure though and trace ammunition standard ammunition in there as well some good petrol and paint this one should be this color because it's the third one i like it quite funky i like that one and apparently it's the mark one no it is not it is the mark three should be yes it is oh it is yes now uh, i put this in draft but now that is ready now on this one i should have had oh yeah i've got away with it there as well the number of crew nice okay well is that going to be better only marginally better but i like it with the tracks and it's all up to date shiny and new so if they want some they can have some i'll still need to produce some now oh i forgot about that sweden and norway murdering each other as well norway's having a hard time of it they've been pushed back significantly with wars with denmark and sweden and norway all blowing each other to pieces and it looks like oh dear norway is murdering them oh no that's good i suppose defending themselves we'll see how that turns out they've got artillery and everything more supplies have come in i need more i'm only at 50 percent storage capacity at the minute can't be having that getting low again getting all my resources from africa because it's cheap now if you missed the episode which showed why i do it from africa and how i managed to keep up well i have buildings and those buildings make it so I can get resources in really quickly. Even if it's delayed, it's proven so far to be good enough to get all the resources in that I need. Ooh. Nice. Okay. The Greeks have fell, well, fallen back and given up territory to the Ottomans. Not going to lie. I think this might be the end of Greece slowly. Albania's been slapped in the face a good number of times as well they're, yeah see look the military is nothing if they get attacked again they're screwed but they've got a fresh unit there i never saw that before okay so they've tried to recuperate but no they're going to be gone austro-hungarian empire they are looking nasty as well they've been pushing and pushing and pushing if they keep pushing they could probably knock out serbia but they're going to be hard pressed to do that currently but now they went like up against Romania, Bulgaria, and all of them. So we'll see how aggressive they are. They might even end up squashing all these countries in the middle and meeting with the Turks, which are probably going to give them a really hard time. The Turks have a much fresher and a bigger army, to be completely honest. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Oh, our tanks have gone to Spain. Isn't that right, lovely? Now, just waiting on production for the other one before we can send off the ones to, where was it? Turkey, I think. There we go. Spain having tanks. They're the good ones as well, these. These are better than most of the tanks that I've given to Britain over the years. Yeah. They're actually better than all of them. Because they've not put in another contract for a while. Which is annoying. It is what it is. But they've only got a few of them be fair quality only gets you so far i wonder if they're going to start using them against somebody else now then oh okay the french smashed the belgians and they used our tanks oh geez oh our tanks murdered four thousand infantrymen that is quite nasty at the zero losses oh geez that's quite brutal not gonna lie however this does mean that the tank fame will increase which means more people are gonna want it sorry belgian but you are outclassed on this one you're gonna lose well your homeland it's gone going oh i forgot about this i can hire another man He's best in the design and engineering sections. Well, that's not good. I was hoping we could stick them in the research line. Well, I'll hire him anyway. He'll be knocking about in about five days. Might as well. 
Norway are thinking about tanks. Okay. Greece has just what? Developed cavalry. Oh, they're a little bit behind. I do apologize, Greece, but that's not going to be enough. There we go. Belgium has been occupied. Yep. France looks to integrate their territories under a puppet government. Well, let's just have a quick look. See, has that happened? Greece, not Greece. France is gone. Not France. Belgium. What about their territory? Yeah, Belgium still has their things over here. They're still at war with Portugal. But now Belgium is pretty much gone. That's all that is left. An African colony. Jeez. Right, well. Who are France going to murder next? I want some European wars. I want France to start slapping Germany. Germany doesn't have any tanks. They should go for it. They should. They'll slap them in the face because they don't have any. To be fair, I want Britain to go to war. They've got so many tanks and they're just not doing anything apart from slapping Ethiopia about. That's not really one-sided, is it? Ooh, our Hornet Mark III is done. Isn't that lovely? Well, let's see what else where you can actually stick together then. On the Whippet, we do not have the French turret on top of this yet, so I can stick one of them together. Now, it does look like I don't have the tracks that I like on, so I am going to sort that out, that's for sure. If I can stick a French turret on that, this tank all of a sudden becomes much more widely wanted. So, yes, definitely worth having a look-see. So, whip it tracks. Oh, I did do one. Why didn't I pick it then? I've got absolutely no idea. Maybe I'll date it afterwards. But I've got everything on there that I seem to normally like. I saw it. That'll do. Oh, we've already got it. Nice. Well, let's build another one then. Is this up to date? I'm not too sure it might be. To be fair, that is worth a look. Looking at it, it does seem to have most of the good stuff. That's not too bad. Ventilation is the German one, which is... Yeah, I think this is pretty up to date. It's got all the internal communication and everything. Got the good sights in there. Oh, that is... Oh, but it doesn't have... The new steel. Well, do I make another one with the new steel? Yes, I think I will. Right, okay. So, if weight allows, I'll use the new one with the new steel. But if we can't, I'll use the old one, which uses the older steel. That's the only difference between the two. Internal communications via little flappy, voicey things that you find at the park. German vision port mark four yes the ventilation German one again is quite lovely and again that one's quite nice it's just not quite as good never mind pull the hatch go for the mark two yeah I like that one better the whole door the German one is much girthier we'll go for that we're not sticking a tail wheel on this thing. Eight days, that is good. So when creating a new whippet, we can choose which one to go for. But now we have the weights available, we can now see which one will work. So, engine for a start, we can stick the fat engine in there. We'll use the one which is half a ton lighter first, again, just in case. We'll stick them tracks on. I like these ones. These are lovely. Now, we did the one with the German machine gun turret on the top. We need the one with the French turret now. Now, there's a cheaper one and a not so cheaper one. Again, in terms of weight. And already, we're looking a bit fat. Oh, jeez. Okay. And that's with the light engine. <gasps> oh, no. Well, we do have light engines if needed be, but they're not as good. Now, this one here, that is a lot lighter. It's 
it's just not as good see the, this engine here is the one that we put in the big tanks <laughs> i mean that'll shift but it's two and a half tons and that is the lighter version we could legit save a ton by sticking that in or we can save nearly well that's only one ton there if we use that one not too keen on that one though we'll have to see let's see how we get on we can stick a turret in there the french turret nice with the french cannon and the machine guns german crossbreed machine guns there we go all of them are in there now then crew we're gonna need a loader as well oh no we're not apparently okay i thought we'd have needed one well we need a driver for a start and then a commander and then a gunner Oh, this is going to have to be a tough one. Mechanic, and then a gunner mechanic. It's going to have to do... No, not gunner commander. Jeez. All right, I'm a little bit limited. It's just going to have to be another gunner. Oh, we are just about in the weight. Oh, jeez. Okay, oh, now we've got other things yet. All right, well, hey, high explosive mark two. The on the piercing round. Oh, jeez. And the high explosive mark one as well. Nice. Oh, we are so on the limit standard ammunition and tracer petrol somehow none of this actually adds any weight i can't stick it anymore <laughs> shells in there but now that is right lovely so on a five one two three four five it looks all over the place doesn't it <laughs> what <laughs> oh man okay but we are just about in the limit. Now that will do me nicely. I do hope we paint the hull, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be a half finished project. Well, that's 19 days. That's going to be another wacky design. We like wacky designs on this channel. We'll have to see what else we can come up with. Oh, production has completed. That means we can get more money from the Turkish, was it? Yes, it was. So they were after 30 of these bad boys. There we go. And we've got about 50 days to do it. We've got plenty of time. They're going to be creaming at the knees. Excellent. Ship them off. That means we've got 10 left in storage. Everybody seems to like these things. So I might build a few more. Might as well. Somebody's going to want them. Here it is. I've got to 38, apparently. Why well, can't I do any more than that? Storage full. Oh, storage is full. Right, well, usually the contract's off for 30. I've currently got 20 in. No, I've got 10 in, so if I just get it... 30. I've got a little bit of playroom then. That'll keep them busy for only 15 days. Portugal have smashed Belgium. Ooh, more supplies have come in. I better get some more in. That's always handy. Better do it as though we're doing the corrupt ones. They require slightly different materials. 26 tanks worth. That is right lovely. Is that right lovely? Battle ended between Sweden and Norway. Sweden won. We can now do trial runs for the medium Hornet. We're going to prioritize that over the other tanks that I did before. Just in case somebody wants it. Delays from Africa. Engineering completed for the Whippet Mark V. But I'm not using that anyway because I don't have the extra weight capacity. Contract completed, more money. That is lovely. We're now at 6.45 million. Oh, another war between Portugal and Belgium. I think Portugal are just claiming territories at this point. Yes, in the... Oh, no. Hang on a minute. This is the same one. What is it barking on about then? I may have read it wrong. Portugal are winning that engagement just about... I've just noticed this one. Netherlands and Luxembourg are at war with each other. Okay. How is that going to play out then? Oh, that might be the one that I just had a look at then. Oh, maybe I did read it wrong after all. But Netherlands, been it. 
Oh, Luxembourg are on the aggressive. What? Okay. Well, Luxembourg might get slapped in the face then, because there's not that much of them. Their army. Well, they've got four regiments. Okay, more than what I thought. But over several battles, I don't think it'll be enough for the, the defeat the Netherlands. But the Netherlands don't even have any artillery. What? Madness. I am wondering if France is going to end up just steaming in. Ooh, I nearly had a disaster. I nearly forgot about my cup of lovely tea. Don't you forget about yours, neither. Ooh, all those tanks are now completed. We've got one day oh, for the medium whippets to be trialed. Oh, jeez. France now has the heavy artillery. Ignore that stuff. But no, that is going to be right lovely. Oh, the medium whippet thing got done. Oh, is it not painted properly? What? What's that about? No. Some good score points from that, though. We'll get that going. But yeah, now, there it is. Right, lovely. I'm actually going to build a few of these. I might even take it for a wee spin. What I might even do is pay off all of the things that are wrong with it. Because that's always, well, never very good, is it? Because <laughs> it's crammed in there. They're struggling to see where they're going. And the mass limit is heavy. The track struggle. I'll just pay for getting it fixed and everything will be fine. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That one. And then you got that one. This one just looks meaner and faster. I just... <laughs> Best way I could describe that. Don't ask questions. What I might even do... Oh, look at the attributes of... Right, okay. So this is the one that everybody creams over. And then they don't like that one quite as much for whatever reason but it's very close to the weight limit you see or it's not fantastic oh actually oh that's on the whippet tracks ah well i'm gonna see if i can do something to this that makes it nicer i don't know why they didn't like this one as much it's it baffles me. If I just do a bit of this, right, it might work. It might even, I mean, the weight, it's heavier because of them damn tracks. I might see if I can just do an upgraded version. The weight on that is right at the limit. That's why I wanted to get away from those tracks and go to the Whippet tracks. But on these one, these tracks, it's even less, you see, which isn't fantastic, but some of points on how good it is on these ones isn't as good anyway but that might be the way well that's the same tracks again but it has the turret on there we have a look at the total sum of goodies on it 1128 it should be better than this one but this one has the big cannon on it but this one has more machine guns and the cannon so i don't quite know i'm gonna fix everything that's wrong with it eh oh i need to go through the trials with it right okay well i'll go do that as soon as it's done because I, I, I reckon people are going to start wanting this one the german lk2 with the french turret not this one but you never know you never know they might just prefer the bigger cannon and this thing is 15 tons. Now, they might like this. Somebody... Uh, the French bought some whippets. But the tankettes, I don't think they'll like it too much. Just because of the weight. But it is generally a lot better. We'll have to see when the next contracts come up. See what comes up. I want to start selling some of those. They're, they're just better. I like them more. I can't even really improve the shell of this because of the weight factor. Oh, I might be able to, actually. I might be able to get the tracks on that light to look at. We've either got the engine in there, which is lighter. It's only at 1.2 ton. Oh, I should be able to get them on it there. Oh, there is a way. Right, okay. 
Now I've twiddled it and not actually twiddled it. So this is actually lighter. I must have changed the components and then made it so that I can get those tracks on. Okay, right. Well, I'll twiddle this then. See, look, it's still that Hotchkit six pounder in there. That is quite girthy. Stick these machine guns on as well. That's all that that tank really is. Stuck a few men in there. Somehow, in there, there are four people. Where they go, I don't quite know. <laughs> I've really got no idea. All the engine takes up this compartment. Somehow you've got to get fuel to that and everything. The transmission is right sat underneath. It's just a mess. And then you've got the gun itself. That takes up all the headroom. How does that happen? I mean, you're going to have to have one there one there occupying these and then probably another one at the back and the one at the front underneath that gun just sat in there burning his legs at the engine that's a mess also if this one is just slightly better right i might be able to actually have some paint on it because <laughs> that's been annoying me the entire time uh what color do we do it though that's the question I mean, we did that and then we did it might have to be that one because that's gonna be the third one i might just go for that no we're gonna be improving it since aren't we yeah we'll go for that one that'll do dandy now it's probably not much better at all but it, at least it's got some color in it oh look there's the one that's now actually painted <laughs> I don't know why the paint didn't come up before, but it is now actually painted, which is right lovely. Even on the silhouette on here, it isn't painted. That's interesting. Now, in the production hall, we have nothing going on. So, I am going to build some Whippet tanks. No, Hornet tanks. Replace these ones. Scrap them. All of them. Yes. And build a newer one. Here she is. There we go. How many do we want? We'll just get 10 for now. Might be best. We can build one of these a day. That's quite good, really. But yeah, now we'll get some of them going. Ooh, Luxembourg, Netherlands, blowing each other to pieces. New resources have arrived. Let's get some more in. Another 60,000 pounds on resources. Quite a bit. Oh dear, right, this was the battle between France and Liberia. French used our tanks to murder... Oh, 4,500 Liberian infantrymen at the loss of zero tanks. Nice, that is nice. Oh jeez, oh, Hornets are already built. Um, could do with more storage, not gonna lie. Uh, I'll build eight more of the Mark 5, Mark 2s. That'll get it to a good 50. They take ages to build them things, so I might as well. And then I'll have 10 spare, which I might do on a Hornet. I suspect the British are going to want the Hornet next. The corrupt ones, they take seconds to build, so it's great. I just build them on demand. Oh, but then again, what about Mr. Whippet? Yeah, the new one. Might see if they like it first before I commit to that. I'll get eight of these built. People seem to want them. Serbia might be interesting in a saturation tank. Well, isn't that the ones that we build? It might be. Oh, France. Yes, well done, lad. They want more tanks. Let's see what they want. Nesta Buster tank. What the bloody hell is that? Nest Buster tank. Oh, wasn't that the... Yeah. Oh, what have they called it? Terranus Mill 1. Let's have a look see. Score of about 416. Right. Well. That is 35 tons. So that means we can use our big fat tank. Not gonna lie, I think it will smash that one out of the park. Oh yeah, they've creamed over that like you'll not believe. Oh hang on a minute. No, not even that one. It's this one down here. 
Is it gone? Is that it? I think that's it. I'll double check. But yes, even more creamage from the French. Excellent. And if they're going to want fat tanks like that, I better build some more of them. Let me double check. Mark 5, Mark 2. Yes. I've got 43 in storage as it is. So I can really ram them out. Oh, that's going to be rather wet. Excellent. Protection. It's quite protected. Firepower hard. Yes, we have the anti tank weaponry in the cannons and reliability. It's quite reliable, actually. Now, this is what they're asking for. And this is what it has. Oh, hang on. No, where's it gone? Oh, yeah. This is what they're asking for. And this is what it has. It creams over everything that the French have ever wanted. They are now weak at the knees. A sponge is not enough. I can really rinse them. 34 tanks. Excellent. Oh, whack it up to the maximum. Oh, jeez. I'm out of money. And I can just... Wow. Yeah? Shave a few days of if you really want. It's not going to take me two, three months to get them over there. That's for sure. I mean, it makes no difference at this point. I've already maxed it. It's just so good. But yeah, now that will do me nicely. How many? 34. Better replace them. See, I knew it was worth building them. Ooh, new resources have arrived as well. I'm certainly going to need them if we're going to be building 34 more of them. They are monstrously resource heavy. They are going to get nine tanks worth at a time. And if there's no delays, it takes about 10 days to get that. We finished designing something as well. What was that? Oh, yeah. It was that other one. That. Mm. It actually has the exact same score as this one. Which is definitely interesting. However, it looks nicer. That's what we want. Excellent. So they should like this just as much as the other. But I'd still want to see if they want that. I think they will like it. I have to do trials on that. No, I've not done trials on that one yet. In terms of these other freakish designs that I could create, just been going through a bit of a list. The only other ones that I can really still create is this one, but with the whippet tracks. And I can upgrade this one with the other flappy paddles up, tracks on it as well. So while they're not doing anything, I'm going to get that done. I'm either going to use the one with the thicker steel. Oh, the name's wrong on it. Oh, what a dizzy. Right, so the Mark 1 should be the Mark. <laughs> should be the Mark 2. Okay. I'm going to change the name of that. Um, I'll leave that for now. But now, we'll do that. Uh, the fat engine and the tracks, the whippets. Yes, that is lovely. And then the French cannon. We'll stick on the one which is heavier. We have the whippet tracks on, so we can go for the more sturdy turret, which is right lovely. Look at that. Right lovely. It looks like a beast. It looks like a boat almost, not gonna lie. Do you know those ones that go over rivers and things? Um no, no. That's a bolt, isn't it? There's some cars that can do it. Oh, it's not with your car, is it? Um, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Some people might know. Google it. No, YouTube it. Cars that go over rivers and things, and they 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 go at. They've got massive wheels, but they've got paddles on them, and they just go nuts. Oh, it's really dangerous, but it's great to watch. Honestly, have a Google. It's good. Plenty of crew in there. Uh, ooh. Standard tracer and oh yeah, what sort of ammunition do we want in there? Armor piercing or high explosive? That is a jolly good question. Would it go for high explosive? They might like that. No, armor piercing. That's it. And I'll paint this that color because why not? Ah, see, look, this is where you got to be careful. The names are slightly off. 
call this one the Mark IV. I'll get them doing that. But when you're doing your contracts, you really have to make sure you do not balls this up. Because if you do, and you click the wrong bloody one, no kidding, that cost me a game before. If you watched the previous playthrough that I did, it wasn't pretty. They might like that, you never know. But they'll be busy doing that. And then just because it's annoying me, I'll do the same but with the German thing there. You know, the German turret, should I say? Ooh, here's something I never noticed. In the turrets, for the French one, I've had to change and talk about names again. The, I've changed this one to the light version. This is just made of the iron. It's a lot lighter. So that's the light version. And then we have this one, which is just Mark 1. That is made out of the best steel that we have. Now, we did that later on. This one, I've changed the name of this to light again. Because it's got made out of the iron. But then this one, I've not updated it to the steel. So I've got, actually got a couple of turrets that I need to do. Even the combination turret isn't made out of the really good stuff at this moment in time. Either is that. There's a few bits. I can improve my tanks further and I didn't even realise. So I will be updating these because I can't be having, not having the best available. Excellent. And it only takes about three days to do each one, so really they can whiz through all of them. Oh, and the French have accepted our contract. Lovely. I better send those off. Here it is. 34 of them. It's going to be quite a wee bit of money, is that? We'll send these guys. Off they go. Excellent. Right, love these. Eh? Right, lovely. And on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Now, next episode, we can look forward to the actual researching of the Liberty Tank. That is coming. 21 days left in-game to do that. Then we can really play. That's going to be good. Better actually get those sponsors and things all sorted with the best that we can get. Then we can build the best tank possible. I hope you have a pleasant day. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Hopefully, if you have, if you can like the video too, that helps as well. A special thank you to all of the members of the channel who get lovely benefits of up to two weeks worth of additional content early. Isn't that right, lovely? Now, the next video, if it's available, will be on the screen right now to the bottom left and the full playlist to the bottom right. Have a good one.